Y'all come with me so I can show y'all that you can really do a lace closure without a nude cap or plucking or bleaching. <laughs> Style pulling into my client house motivates me every time I come because it is straight goals. I'm talking about black luxury. This is my client, the lovely Leslie Ofori. She actually is a cake lady, so look her up on Facebook. But she's been getting lace closures since she found out about them. I mean, no plucking, no bleaching, no new cap. She actually took the time to ask me to stop y'all and bake her kids with cookies and then cool them down. Mother goes. But like I was saying, she been getting lace closures for a long time, so this is the method I use on her with braiding. It's a flip up, pull up method. And then in the front, wherever they're laying their lace closure, I just braid their section straight back and with the smallest braids as possible. But as you can see, it just gives foundation. So then this was the lace closure. It was a little light, which is fine though, because all you need is some foundation. And I asked her for some, and she gave me the good stuff so we use the Fenty foundation to go on the lace so basically sewing the lace closure in is the same thing as gluing it in even without plucking and bleaching and all of that you're going to put the lace closure above the hairline especially when the, the lace closure is a different color from the client's hair usually when she gets a closure that's her hair color I can't afford to put it closer to her hairline and just let a few of her baby hairs come through and it looks it gets super natural but just to let you know, new caps, plucking, bleaching, all that does not have to be done because basically it gives tea part wig if done correctly. <laughs> 